In this video, Roberto Velasquez, Executive Director of the Southern Caregiver Resource Center, talks about the sandwich generation of caregivers and how to reach them by social media. Dramatic Brain Injury Recovery. So, Roberto, tell me what else is new at SCRC. So, you know, as I mentioned, one of the things that we take pride of at SCRC is to look at what's going on in our community. I've talked about our diverse community and special programs. Well, the other thing that we've noticed, and not just observational, but with our data as well, the families that we're seeing, is that the demographics, the profile of the family caregivers changing. And it's interesting because it's not just in San Diego County, it's nationwide. Mm -hmm. Caregivers are younger. There's still a large population of spouses caring for spouses and older adults, but the average caregiver that now reaches out and is seeking help is what we're considering the sandwich generation, which are primarily female between the ages of 49 and 50, 55. Mm -hmm. They're caring for an aging parent at home. They also have children that are dependent on them and they work outside the home. Wow. So, so this is, you know, what is that triple jeopardy? I don't even know what kind of jeopardy that is as yeah. far as health and issues and problems, mm -hmm. but this is the average caregiver now. So one of the things that we started implementing in the last two years was doing more of our programming through some social media, live streaming some of our classes, which mm -hmm. is one of the most telltale results from what we've done and changed to market to the population that can't come to the traditional sure. workshops and classes. Sure. So, for example, we will run a workshop on, the last one was on spirituality and aging. I think we had about 25 or 30 people in the classroom. 450 yep. people were viewing it online. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. that is what's happening. And this is what I'm saying. We're working with and trying to produce other ways that we can reach families that can't come to the traditional nine to five types of classes and workshops. We mm -hmm. are now producing one minute caregiver tip videos Good. that we air once a week and mm -hmm. they're bilingual. Mm -hmm. And so we're pushing those out and those are getting a lot of hits. And then we now do a podcast. Ah. Myself and my co-host is Marta Rañon, our director of government and, and community affairs. And every mm -hmm. month we have a topic, we talk about it, we push it out through the podcast, through social media. And so we're trying to identify ways that we can reach more people at non-traditional times and things that people can play later on if they need to. At cutting edge use of technology. You know, the needs of families don't seem to change. The need to assess what's going on in their life, the need to assess what kind of resources they have, the need to develop a plan and connect to counseling and other types of support services, respite, those don't seem to change. What is changing is how we deliver that service. Yeah. Right. And that's why I really appreciate this platform here uh, mm -hmm. that you've taken the initiative of because this is another way of getting information out to families that they don't have to come to a class. They don't have to come to a conference. You know, we just talk about it and connect them through the online medium. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video.